There is a perception that charcoal is burnt wood. However, be more accurate to refer to it as cooked wood. Although the distinction is slight, it's very important. The heating or cooking of the wood drives off water, tar, methane and other substances to leave as much carbon or char behind as possible. The key to the process is to heat the wood in a low oxygen area so that wood doesn't actually combust. Traditionally in England this was done by piling the logs around a central chimney and covering the wood in a layer of soil and other material, preventing the entry of fresh air into the pile. The fuel is then ignited in the central chimney and allowed to burn for several days. This required someone to ensure that the heat was maintained in the pile and the soil layer didn't become cracked and then let air into the pile. It needed a skilled charcoal burner and even then it wasn't that efficient. However, it did have some important advantages in that the preparation could take place in the forest where the wood actually was harvested, so there was no need for transportation or construction of complicated industrial structures as the pile could be constructed and deconstructed by hand. So that brings us to the question from this, why did they actually bother? Why not just burn coal or wood for fuel? Well, charcoal was very important at the start of the Industrial Revolution. This time, most of the coal mines were prone to flooding. Without steam engines to pump out the water, mining was expensive and difficult. Then again, without railways, many navigable waterways, or even decent roads, transporting the coal once it was got out of the ground was made even more expensive. It's left wood whilst being cheap and ideal for cooking and other domestic uses had a problem when it comes to industrial use that it doesn't burn hot enough when attempting to smelt ores especially iron ore this is where charcoal com comes in it burns at a very high temperature actually about twice the temperature needed to smelt iron ore it means even with an inefficient furnace of the time you could easily use it for industrial scale production of metals due to the large amounts of wooded areas in England at the time could also set up an iron ore mine, a smelting works, a charcoal burning, all in a very small area, minimising the need to transport anything other than the finished materials. It's this which enabled the start of the Industrial Revolution by producing substantial amounts of high quality iron and steel. From there, large quantities of tools could be made for the construction of canals and railways, along with the metals to produce all the rails, the steam engines, the huge furnaces, and anything else the new industries needed. Once these were created, coal could be extracted cheaply and transported around the country, allowing the new industrial revolution to maintain its momentum as a world-changing force. Now charcoal can be produced in backyards in old oil drums, as well as on an industrial scale, but its use is generally limited to things like barbecues and filters and a few other specialist uses. But without charcoal, our society would look radically different today. The old men sitting in woods for days at a time looking after piles of cooking woods in the forest, a world changed forever.